watchful, the IPA cannot afford to drop its guard on vigilance over the prices with interest rates so low. So the RBI cannot afford means it cannot take the chances of being experienced by another economic shortfall after the economic shortfall of the COVID-19 and it should keep vigilance over the prices with interest rates so low. So right now the um, right now the interest or the rate of taxes on all the items are so low, they are less. So it should observe the process uh, on how it turns out to be and it should and, it, and if it does not turn out so good it should do something. The RBI's monetary policy committee has, ex- has expertly yet again left benchmark interest rates unchanged and, re- and reiterated that it will continue its accommodative stance at least into the next fiscal year in order to secure a sustained economic recovery. So the RBI's monetary policy or MPC, it says that we won't be changing or increasing the rates of interest for this year and also for the next fiscal year because we want to make sure that our economic recovery will be taken um, will be um, it, it will taken it, it will be taken for sure and we, we, we don't want it to be done quickly um, we just want it to be um, um, completed for sure the central bank's rate setting panel has reasoned that while there are promising signs in the welter of data that it has looked at the ongoing recovery still gather firm traction making it crucial for the pro- um, to provide continued policy support for restoring growth so um, the central bank uh, it's saying against the MPC or it uh, it is saying to the MPC that uh, I don't think your plan will work out because um, the the current economic recovery it is still a traction means it is it's still at friction it still has many problems and it won't be recovered as easy as easy as you may think so you need to inc- increase the rate of interest. A sharp deceleration in the retail inflation in December when headline CPI inflation east to 4.6% after being stuck above the RBI's upper tolerance threshold of 6% for 6 straight months clearly appears to have smoothed the blow for 6 members of the committee and provided them space to stay focused on the rollout of COVID-19 vaccination program as well as so we have um, we have many programs to take care of right now we, uh, we have the COVID-19 vaccination distribution program and then we also um, and then we also have the uh, we also have the budget plan of India of this year which we need to take care of so we have so many projects to take care of and hopefully all of this money will raise um, will raise or, or boost the confidence of indian government and also the citizens of india <coughs> um the rural demands persistent resilience is what the mpc is Undergrading the demand recovery aided in its view by good prospects of the agriculture. But all the demand from the rural side or from the people of the villages and farmers is that, please, um, it's a, it says that um, um, the persistent resilience is what the MPC is undergrading the demand recovery aided. So, um, the, the rural demand is that please, uh, please increase the cost by bit so that it would, it would be helpful for the ag- agriculture. And here, while overall rabi sowing has been 2.9% higher, um, higher year on year as on January 29, the farmers' agitation involving cultivators from key crop growing um, states, including the Punjab, Haryana, and Uttar Pradesh, is a cause for concern. For a protracted imp- impasse, has the potential to di- has a potential to, has a potential to disrupt farm uh, farm output, threatening both growth and inflammation dynamics. So, um, the, um, and here uh, um, the, uh, the increase in the crop yield or the increase in, in the sowing of the seeds is 2.9% um, higher this year than last year. So, this year January, it is 2.9%. Uh, this year January 29th, it is 2.9%. It was 2.9% greater than the last year's um, 29th of January. Um, And uh, as I said, uh, all the farmers are requesting to increase the rate of taxes. And these include the states of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh. And all of them say that um, if you don't, in, if you don't do, do as, as we say, um, this will become a protracted problem or, an, or a problem which stays for a long time and has the potential to disrupt the farm outputs. Um, and it has the potential or it has the capacity to destroy the lives of farmers. And, uh, and, uh, and hence, we won't be getting much food. 
and also most importantly we will be losing lives and farmers. The central bank has also understandably sought to privilege its role um, as, um, as the government's debt manager th through, its, um, through a clutch of regulatory announcements um, accompanying the latest monetary policy. The two main measures involve extending the enhanced held to maturity dispensation for banks buying debt issued by the centre and states by year up to March 31st, 2023 and, um, and allowing retail investors to make direct online purchases of the government securities via a retail direct um, guild securities account, um, account held with the RBI. When the centre alone targeting to borrow as much as 12 lakh rupees crore at the gross level, um, in the in the coming financial year, the, the debt manager faces the inevitable task of ensuring that the flood of debt not only finds takers at a, at a price that does not push up borrowing costs for the rest of the real economy, but also trying and preventing it from crowding on out demand for the private investment credit. Um, so the center is targeting to pull out only 12 lakh crores. So um, 12 lakh crores, it might seem as a very huge amount of money, but uh, for the government to take care of the whole country of India, it's a less amount of money. So it's only going to take 1 lakh crore rupees. And, uh, uh, and the debt manager of India, he has the inevitable task. Uh, he does not want to do it, but it's the truth or it's the real thing. So uh, while people may be willing to give away low prices of taxes, the problem is the problem is, um, is, is preventing it from crowding out demand for the private investment, investment credit. With interest rates being held at near near record lows and inflation still persist, uh, persisting above the RBI's benchmark repo rate of four percent, resulting in negative real uh, with negative real returns for savers, the RBI can ill afford to drop its guard on vigilance over prices. So this the situation right now is just not good. So the RBI it should really take care of the prices. So and it should keep a vigil on the prices. It should be observing the prices and what turns uh, and what happens. And even the current situation is above the estimation of RBI. It, it is even worse. So the RBI, um, it, um, it, it can, it, it can either increase the taxes or it can uh, either follow its plan and keep them the same until the next year. So we have to see what the RBI does. Thank you.